Uh, my name is Taven. Um, I'm a pup. Bark, bark. And um, welcome to another uh, edition of Math with Taven. Um, in my previous video, I talked about maximums and minimums, increasing, decreasing, that sort of thing, and how to detect them mathematically and why it makes sense um, and all that good stuff. So now I'd like to do a problem of optimization, which is just an application of finding maximums and minimums. Now, uh, I'll probably say this again because I think it's important to know that optimization problems, in a way, really every optimization problem is the same. The idea is you want to um, maximize or minimize something. Say you want to um, minimize the amount of material it takes to uh, make something, um, to minimize costs or whatever, or you want to maximize something. Say you want to make um, a box with a certain prescribed um, amount of material and you want to maximize the volume or something like that. Um, but in every case, you, you really comes, it really comes down to one thing. You want to model your situation with a function, and then once you have that function, you want to find the maximum or minimum of it, which then just goes back to the previous idea I talked about in my, my other video. So let's just do a simple example. Um, as I say, this example will be kind of be an example of every optimization problem because it's all kind of got the same ideas. Um, I guess before I start, one, one piece that you'll need is usually in optimization problems, there are constraints. That is things that um, you're bound to, kind of, uh, that you have to have within the problem. And you'll have to use the constraint and combine it with the function you get in order to get your answer. So let's see um, how these ideas apply to this example. Um, so we have a farmer. He's a little farmer guy. Um, maybe he's right here. There's a farmer. Um, and he has 2,400 feet of fencing. And he wants to um, make a rectangular field, um, fence off a re rectangular field against a river. And he doesn't need any um, fencing along the river. Now, he wants to know what dimensions, height and width, dimensions of the fence do you, or sorry, the field do you need um, that will maximize the area. So let me just talk about this. And sometimes in a problem, you just kind of got to do a few little examples and things to get an idea of what you're looking at. So for example, um, here's one thing that, that he, so I'm not going to start solving the problem yet. I just want to kind of wrap my head around what this is actually asking. And by the way, half the solution to any problem is understanding um, what it's telling you and what it wants you to do. I'm completely serious about that. If you got those two things down, you've got half the problem. Anyway, so let's do that and try and see what it wants us to do. So for example, so here's a river, river, and he's going to make a fence and, or make a, a, a pen, and um, he could have, for example, maybe this was 100 feet and this was 100 feet. And if he has 2,400 total, 2,400 minus 200 is 2,200. So this is one possibility. And in this case, the area is 100 times 2,200, which is a big number, <laughs> right? Anyway, so that's one one thing that could happen. Now, on the other paw, um, he could also maybe, well, no, let, let me just keep that up there and just draw maybe a, a different color. He could also um, say, here's a river, and maybe he had, say, 1,000, for example, feet on two of the sides, which would leave 2,000, which would leave 400 feet for the other side. So then here, your area would be 1,000 times 400, 
which is for 100,000 square feet. So, so obviously, the changing um, your dimensions um, changes the amount of area you have. And then the question is, well, is 400,000 the biggest? Is there dimensions that give you any bigger? Well, that's what we want to find out. Uh, colors. Got this one. It fell. So let's do a different color. Per another one fell. Craziness is happening. So the, the main idea, as I said, with all these optimization problems, the idea is to model problem, problem, with a function. And this function is what you want to uh, maximize or minimize. Then find max and mins. Oh, look, the blue one magically came back. Magic. Again, here's our picture. Picture. There's a river. River. And. Okay. So we want to maximize the area. That's what we want to do. So when I read through this, I want to think, what do I really want to do? What we really want to do is largest area. This is what you've got to figure out, what you want to do. You want to maximize the area. The area is what? It's x times y. So we want to want to find, find maximum of our area function is what I'll call it. But the thing is, we have two variables here. We need to get rid of one of the variables. We do that using our constraint. Um, get, and, and I, we, I haven't written down the constraint yet, but we'll use it. Using the constraint, What's the only other piece of information we have? Well, we know that it all has to add up to 2,400. So x, x plus y plus the other y has to equal 2,400. So of course, we can simplify that to x plus 2y equals 2,400. And we can solve for x and then plug it in. 100 minus 2y. In that case then, so our area function, it'll be just in terms of y now. It's x times y. And x is 2400 minus 2y. So 2400 minus 2y, right? And so then that equals, just to simplify a little bit, minus 2y squared. So we want to maximize this, which then just goes back to, well, we know how to do that. We've got to find derivatives and stuff. So let's do that quickly, and then we'll be done. So my area function, um, maximize, sorry if you can't read that, my posies, is, so is 2400y minus 2y squared, and if we maximize that, remember what we do, we want to uh, find maximums and minimums, and I mean, this will kind of look something like, you know, like this. This will be my maximum value. 
I know it looks like that because it's a parabola and everything. But anyway, just to give you a picture. Um, so you want to take the derivative and find out where it equals zero because then you can test the test interval thing I talked about in my other video. Um, you can test and see if your derivative is positive or negative. So the derivative is 2400 minus 4y. And if I set that equal to zero, then um, I can add 4y to both sides, you know, however you want to solve this. 2400 equals 4y. So that means y is 600. And because it's a parabola, you kind of know, oh, that's the maximum value. But if you weren't sure, like a lot of times in these problems, you're not sure if that's a maximum or minimum. Max or min. You can use the first derivative test idea, where first you go from negative infinity up to 600, and then 600 up to infinity. And again, I'm just going to go quick through this because it's this is the same idea as in my previous video. Um, test the derivative. Uh, a nice number on the left side here is 0. And if you plug it into the derivative, you get something positive. Again, the derivative, not the original function, but the derivative. Um, and then if you plug in, say, 700, notice then you get something negative. So you're increasing, and then you're decreasing, like in this picture, which means that 600 is your maximum value. That means that the dimensions that have the um, biggest area is when the y value is 600. Here's your river. You have your y value of 600 on both sides, which means that what's the x value? Well, remember we had um, x plus 2y has to add up to 2400. Take away this arrow. And if y equals 600, then x plus 2 times 600 has to equal 2400. So that means that your x value is 2400 minus 1200, which is 1200. So that means this is a 1200 right there. And then your maximum area is 600 times 1200 and all that. But the question was just, what are the dimensions that maximize the area? And we found it out, and the farmer is happy, and all his little piggies or whatever are running around in that little field. Um, yeah. So um, I hope this helped you out. Remember these ideas. The main, really, it's important to understand the main concepts and main ideas, um, and then you can do any optimization problem. So I hope this helped you out. Um, I'll see you next time on Math with Kevin. Bark, bark.